to do it. Are we on? <laughs> yes, we're on. Hello. <laughs> As you gathered, it's not Sue. <laughs> it's Kelly. I'm Yarly inspired. Yeah. And every time I come here, I forget what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you forget what you're called? Yeah. <laughs> but you don't really say it to other people. You type it, don't you? You don't say it. I don't, I don't say it anyway. Some people always say, when they open up a video, they'll go, oh yeah, I'm a gypsy crochet or whatever. And they say, I never do, I forget. Yeah. I never say I'm Jan, because I always presume everybody knows. You don't think that somebody could be just passing by. Yeah. And just land on your channel by accident and they haven't got a clue who you are. Well, I always go, Kelly here again. And I'm like, do I have to say that every time? <laughs> yeah, we do, obviously. <laughs> it just pops out, you don't even realise. Yeah. Well, I've got nothing to show you. <laughs> and now there's Kelly. She's not brought anything either. But we've been, well, Kelly's been busy. I've been watching, um, sorting out, haven't we? So what do you think of my craft room so far? <laughs> That's going to be out or jam. Whenever I'm feeling down, I'm going to come over and look at everything in there because that is my five minute happy time room now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know we're all here, I told you. You know we're all here, you don't have to, just make sure I'm in, you know. <laughs> Because, you know, he hasn't learned to open the door yet. Picture tent in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice, you can sleep on the veranda. <laughs> on my decking. <laughs> Get an air bed, put yeah. you out there. <laughs> Need a break from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so we're progressing, but slowly, aren't we, up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking very good. But it needs about another year. <laughs> No, we didn't, you didn't know what we did, she says, as she sat on a chair supervising. <laughs> Kelly did a lot of uh, sorting. We put two things in, two lots of yarn in, tub Tops. things, haven't we? Yeah. Lintel, yeah. And did the cotton shelf. Did the cotton shelf, yeah. And so, you did the red arch. Yeah, and then it all fell off. <laughs> <laughs> it all fell off and off. <laughs> it was like, oh, and it was like, I couldn't stop it. It was like, oh, and it just all started coming off. That was all because I piled it up and it was slippy. Oh, well, little Gigi. And then the rest wanted to come off and she goes, oh, go on then and just chucks it all down. <laughs> you can go too. You can go. <laughs> well, I knew it was all going to fall, so I might as well have just pushed it. Then we put it in the box and we said, Kelly says, oh, you're doing well, it's all fitted in there. And I went, no, there's still a pile out there on the landing. <laughs> she was hiding the rest. <laughs> but we've put some, we've got a bit more, another dent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty productive. You can see the floor. Yeah. There's a bit of a walkway in there now. <laughs> Not much, but there is a bit. <laughs> no, well, I'm hoping that when I get my injection on Monday, that I'll be a little bit more uh, help <laughs> to myself. Because um, at the moment I have to keep sitting down. It's just no, no bones about it. I just have to keep sitting down. Yeah. Uh, I can only do jobs sitting down, which is a bit awkward, but everything's supposed to be up on a shelf, isn't it? pretty good though for when I'm helping it keeps you out of the way a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm flitting and reaching. Yeah and I'm sticking things with sellotape on my chair. And just stay on the side. <laughs> I just said it's very satisfying watching somebody else work. <laughs> Although you know it should be me. I'm hoping for wonderful things when I get this injection on Monday and yeah. then I'm hoping I'll be able to at least bend and stretch without going ah ah ah. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see how we go. Here's Gigi, has to come and say hello. <laughs> Did you just wink at me? You did, did the one eye. Oh. Hi, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> He's decided he quite likes Kelly now, so. About time, isn't it? <laughs> There's some people been coming here for years. <laughs> well, not years, but weeks and he doesn't like them. But, uh, yeah. Likes his Auntie Susu when she comes. Yeah. No idea when she's coming next, so. <laughs> Hopefully she'll do another little bit for me as well. Although she's having her injection uh, for her spine this week coming, so. Mm -hmm. We're just like. So you both feel like the Jorah cell bunnies after that then? Well, hopefully. You just <laughs> wither around and get it done. Yeah. Hopefully. It's so annoying for me though, because I know like, you know, say even 10 years ago, I would have done that in about a week, you yeah. know? Where now I've been doing it for about two or three weeks and I can't really see it. Well, I can see daylight, I can see what I've been doing, but you expect miracles, don't you? I expect it to be done, you know. Well, your mind's still working back to when you was then, but your body's trying to catch up in it. 
can't. This is what it is with me, yeah. I get up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'll do this today and that and the other today. Yeah. And then after I've had my breakfast to wash the dishes, it's like, <sighs> I'm done now. <laughs> Best time yet. <laughs> yeah. By the time I've had my shower, then I'm really done for, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's also a shower after your workout. It's not meant to be your workout. <laughs> well, he was coming later this morning, so I, I was able to have my shower while I was actually still upstairs, which is the big help. Yeah. Because I don't have to keep climbing up downstairs. Yeah. yeah. So when I know he's coming a bit later, I get out of bed, go straight in the shower then. But my worst thing is if I come downstairs and have my breakfast and he arrives. Yeah. And then about three hours later, I'm thinking, I better get out of this dressing gown, I better go and get a shower, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking, no, loose women's coming on the TV, <laughs> I'll watch that first. <laughs> then I get sidetracked. Don't we, Jean? And they'll be there. He You're just... just looking at me and going, oh, Auntie Kelly, you're beautiful. <laughs> I'm a beautiful Gigi. Yes, of yes, course you are. <laughs> That's what I love about dogs and animals. They look at you like you're the... Best things to slice bread, don't they? Yeah. That's what I like about having young kids. I got dressed today. Yeah. My head's get up on in Jamal Watson. He goes, Mummy, you look like a princess. You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, Thank you. Don't ever grow up. <laughs> I like being told that. <laughs> I can't even think my son ever said that to me. My son used to have a passion for brushing my hair. Oh, Jamal does that with me. I love it. And then he used to put clips all over, like, you know, clips in and. <laughs> And then my ex had come home from work and he'd go, what the? And he got used to say, doesn't she look lovely? I've done the hair. And Alan used to go, oh, well, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> and Unique. Then, and then he, he used to say, you know, like, don't touch it, don't leave, leave it, leave it where it is. And then somebody, the club man or somebody would come to the door and I'd think, oh. and I'd look around for Alan and he'd be upstairs or something like that. God, I've got to go to the door looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> right, the worst one of all was we were trying on wigs one day, you know, really silly wigs. They weren't nice wigs, they were silly, synthetic, cheapy wigs. Yeah. And I had this blonde one that looked like Barbara Windsor on a bad day. <laughs> and somebody came to the door. <laughs> and I thought, I can't take it off because I had a stocky neck thing, you know, underneath holding my hair down. <laughs> and I went to the door and he just went, um, <laughs> this poor guy, as if to say, just does that really her hair? Does she really look like that? You know, because it was horrible. It was really the tackiest, awfulest blonde wig you could have wished for. Oh my god! And, and he was like, oh, "She's serious, or what?" You know, because <laughs> the hairstyle was like a twenty-year-old, you know, and I was like about fifty at the time, and. Uh, it, like, yes, let's look at her like she's normal. And it was the <laughs> cheapest, brassiest white blonde hair ever, you know. <laughs> that was a very embarrassing moment, that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so have you got long hair or short hair? Short. I oh. cut it um, last year to just a few oh, years. Right. I like my short hair and I've got my two streaks of grey. Oh, I've got, I love my grey hair. I've got grey at the sides. I want to go white like that. Do you see them? Yeah. I want to go like that. My mum keeps saying that. She always yeah. dyes her hair. But then she's like, well, if I grow it out, I'm going to look stupid because all my hair's grey underneath. So it's yeah. just going to look weird. So I said, well, keep dyeing your hair lighter and lighter and turning it grey each time. So then people get used to it. It won't be a shock. Yeah. But, I, yeah. I want I, to be. My hair is still resolutely dark. Yeah. Under this. I've just got two white pieces at the sides. And I want the rest of the hair to go like that. <laughs> Everybody else who's got grey hair is dyeing it. Yeah. And I want the opposite. I want mine to be dyed grey. Yeah. Yeah. But he can't get it dyed grey. I went to the hairdressers and wanted it dyed grey. But it came out this horrible blue. Yeah, and some of them got like a light violet colour, don't they? No, this was blue. It, wow. Well, you remember because I did the video. But it was awful. Thankfully, it washed out. <laughs> Even though it was dye, it washed out, yeah. Um, I love my grey. It's just two streaks at the top there, like, um, do you ever watch that programme, The Monsters? 
Oh, used to be yeah. on when I was younger and she's got the two lines, but that's where mine is. Well, my mum used to watch a program called Malons or something, they used to call it a Malon streak. And my mum had one piece that came, a bit like Cruella de Vil, you know? Yeah. <laughs> one piece that came over the top. <laughs> my fringe won't go grey, it's just the sides. Right. But Manny said round the back is completely dark. <laughs> I'll be grey before you. <laughs> you <were. laughs> oh, my sister-in-law went grey in the 30s. Because she was a redhead and I think they do tend to go yeah. grey a lot quicker. But... I started getting mine when I was about 20. Yeah. Mm. I've had a hard life. <laughs> Terrible. Obviously I have. You would not yeah. believe. <laughs> Obviously I have had a hard life. <laughs> should have gone, well I can't say too much on this video but I should have gone grey a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew who was watching this, you see, could be my relatives so I have to be very careful what I say. <laughs> That's the only trouble isn't it? You, you chat away to the camera thinking, oh nobody's going to watch it, nobody's going to see it. I mean, when I first started doing my YouTubes, you know, I, I was like, well, nobody's going to watch them. Yeah. I made them more because I was lazy. I had a blog and I used to have to type everything in, put pictures off everything. Yeah. But even then, that was more uh, an online diary for me. Yeah. I never imagined anybody would actually follow me. But a few people did. I didn't have a lot of followers, but a few people did. And then I started doing the videos because I was too lazy to do all the typing. But even when I first started doing these, they were just more or less for me. You know, they weren't like, I'm going to put myself out to the big wide world, you know. It was none of that. It was just like, well, once I've made something and I've given it away or something like that. Because I used to do Flickr as well. Do you ever do Flickr? No. I've never done it. I used to do Flickr as well and put everything I made on Flickr. But I got I'm bored with that and I got bored with Ravelry because it was too much like hard work really. Yeah. It's much easier to hold something up in front of a camera and just go, this is what I made, you know. Well, this is why I did mine, because I can't afford all this big storage on the computer, you know, of all the things yeah, that I make, yeah. all the pictures. Yeah. YouTube's free storage. <laughs> why not use it while it's free? Well, that's kind of what <laughs> I started off for, because, and it's a bit daft because I never go back and watch the videos of me. Oh, I do. <laughs> I watched my last one about three times thinking, blimey, you were bouncing off the walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your last video, you went... <laughs> <laughs> She'd had too many energy drinks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking an energy drink, but it's not had any effect on me. Well, yours is the Aldi version of Red Bull. Yeah. Mine's the Aldi version of the Monsters. Ah. Uh. But they don't hit you as hard as the real stuff, but they're less than half price. <laughs> So like, just for me. <laughs> I like a girl who's cheap like me. <laughs> cheap and cheer. Well, we're cheap dates. Yeah. <laughs> cheap as chips. <laughs> Not that we have dates, but we're cheap as we're cheap dates. We're each other's date. <laughs> we're going on a yarn date. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, we have yarn dates. I have a yarn date with Sue. I have a yarn date with you. That's the best kind of dates, isn't it? Let's face it. We chat about yarn, chat about what you want to crochet next best kind of dates yeah yep yep so <laughs> it won't be a very long video today because uh, yeah I've Kelly's got, got to pick the kids up haven't you went charity shopping today though didn't we yeah but our charity shops are not as good I got my teapot though oh yeah I've been after a teapot for <laughs> weeks <laughs> but then we saw a better one in the second shop but we'd already bought one I know mm. but that blue one would have been a bit too big it was like a family size and I only want it for me and Jamal. Because I let him drink my brews because I only drink decaf with teas. Yeah. So I let him have some when the weather's a bit colder. Yeah. But I don't want to pour two waters in the kettle. <laughs> You've really got to pour the same amount in the teapot then pour them later. Yeah. It just seems like more effort for some reason. <laughs> I, used to, I was brought up on tea. You know, being a true Lancashire lass. Yeah. I always drank tea for being little. Mm. And then when I was pregnant with Ari, and I just went right off it. And I still can't drink it. It tastes vile to me. I don't know why. Mm. I've tried all different kinds. The herbal teas. I've tried the fruit teas. And they all taste vile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't drink the fruit teas if I've not got a full stomach. Because they make me feel ill otherwise. Mm. I just um, don't like them. I like fruit coolers. No, I don't. Even though they make my nose freeze. 
but they're so dear though, and they don't cost any of that, and they're so expensive. I must learn how to make them. I was just saying though to me, my niece the other day, we went in the supermarket, and about two years ago, if you went in the supermarket, you were looking for like frozen fruit. Mm -hmm. They'd have like one, which was summer fruits, and that was all they would have. And I went in Tesco's and we were looking, and they've got a whole like half of an aisle now. Yeah. With all these stuff for smoothies. I must learn how to make them, because it's so dear. They're dead easy. Yeah. I'll teach you how to make some nice ones. Good, I shall get some We food. have lots of smoothies in my house. <laughs> She's going to bring me, what, you're going to bring me a cheesecake, is it, or a banoffee? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. We'll bring you cheesecake next time. She knows I don't make things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a kitchen, but I don't know what it's for. <laughs> oh yes, it's got a microwave in it. <laughs> I watched the cookery program. My, 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 I've got to say sister-in-law, when my daughter-in-law was living with me for a while. We used to watch all these cookery programmes and I used to think, I don't know why I'm watching them because it's like water off a duck's back on me. <laughs> you know, she'd be sitting there glued to the great bitches bake off and stuff like that and I'm thinking. <sighs> <laughs> well, I like watching that. But only for that man who's on it, I can't remember his name, but he's gorgeous. That Paul Holland? It might be. The grey hair? Yeah. Oh. He's beautiful. I love anybody with silver hair, like I like Philip Schofield, now he's gone grey, white. See, you know what, I love white, I love Dick mm. Van Dyke, even in his older years now, mm. I, I would white. marry that man. <laughs> I love white hair, beautiful yeah. silver white hair. I dated a guy, the last guy I dated, he had this beautiful silver hair, but he hadn't lost it, he'd got loads of it, you know. Mm. So gorgeous his hair. <laughs> Yeah, Nicer than him, then, but that's by the by. I'm, a, I'm attracted to silver foxes. <laughs> yeah. And I just love my older men. Yeah. I do. Nobody, well, there's not many older men around, is for me, is there? Let's face it. Like a bit too elderly, one, one foot in the grave, wouldn't they? They were older than me. <laughs> when I took mm. Sue, when Sue was helping with my stash, she's actually in my will. So this is no bullshit, she's actually in my will that she gets my wool and all my bully stuff yeah. when I go. But she was there saying, oh for goodness sake, don't die yet. <laughs> she said, I can't, I wonder where to put this. Just <laughs> she, lay my... <laughs> she said, you'll have to hang on, you can't go anywhere yet. <laughs> I said, well I don't plan. I said, there's only one thing, I said, if you can't take it all home, I said, you have to eBay it all. <laughs> she goes, can you imagine her other, her other ass face? She said, if you walks in with all this, she said, because I'd want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to move to get another room or two. You can imagine the discussions they'd be having though. <laughs> oh, God, fly in the world. I'd be gone, so I wouldn't care, but you know. <laughs> I mean, somebody had a brilliant suggestion. They said I should turn all upstairs into the craft room. All upstairs. You know? Yeah. And sleep downstairs, you know, make the dining well, room I into my bedroom. Time, was you said that as well. <laughs> somebody else said that to me on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> make my dining room into my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Have upstairs as my um, sitting room stroke craft room, up in the front room, the bedroom. And then have, you know, the back one as my proper craft room thing, yeah. Well, you might just manage to fit it all in then. Do you know, terrible. Might. There's still a lot in that little room, isn't there? Yeah, it's not going to go in. Yeah. And we're not talking about the garage. I was just going to say that. That garage, you're going to have to put shelving in there or something. I'll just leave them in the boxes. Just ignore them and leave them there. <laughs> That'll be your rainy day yarn room. <laughs> because, I met, because I met Kelly on my scooter, she had to come in the house through the tradesman's entrance, you see. So she saw all my uh, goodies. <laughs> Rubbish. But uh, now what I'm going to do is when I finish the craft room, I'm going to uh, wind them all into cakes. You know, all those yeah. little titchy little balls and that. And I think they'll stack better in the... Um, you know, yeah, the tubs. And then, because they're all part balls, there's, um, there's odd ones that are full balls, but a lot of them are part balls, bits missing off them. So that's what I'm going to do. They are supposedly, allegedly, in colours in there. There's one box with red in it, one box with pink in it, you know? 
So I am sort of organised, but... Uh... <laughs> somebody Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> somebody has said that I should do an inventory and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'd need more than two aspirins and a lie down for that. I was thinking all say she could never do a Ravelry on that. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, way. Gosh. People, I've been running out of room on Ravelry. Ravelry be saying, hang on, you're using too much space. Go away. Maxie not helping. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you don't want to do it? <laughs> I was just going to say, I'll give you the laptop. <laughs> you can sit up there and do it for me. No, when, I, when I'd had a, a tiny stash, I had it all yeah. done. And it was really good, but uh, not now. Couldn't even think about it now. No. That's something I want to do with mine. What do we But then eventually? I keep thinking, well, <laughs> it's effort. <laughs> we could be crocheting while we're doing that. Well, wasting exactly. valuable time, yeah. This is why I don't do housework when the kids are in bed, because that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do any housework. Well, you've got, to, you've got kids, you've got kids, haven't you? Well, I always think as long as it's not dangerously messy, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just looking, I've got one pair of shoes here and four pairs of slippers. <laughs> all, all, all in the front room. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a bit, uh, a bit messy. <laughs> <laughs> but as I keep saying, it's like jigsaw pieces. When the pieces go in, they fit together, it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to keep telling myself that. It might take me till about August. <laughs> be realistic about this but I'm gonna get there and then when it's all straight my son's going to come and say I'm ready to do the shelves now <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be going Kelly I hope he's gonna give you notice <laughs> yeah he will I'll be going Kelly <laughs> help oh, but at least then the um my bedroom should be clear so I could just pile it all up I don't care if it goes up past the windows and it's like a barricade, I don't care. <laughs> but putting it all back again is going to be fun. Oh. Well, it should be easier though, because you can bag it up in sections, can't you? Yeah. If you just put it back yeah. in sections. Well, I'm hoping to have used some of it before. But it has been a big eye opener. I think everybody should do this at some stage. Yeah. You know, reorganise your, your stash. Um, because I've just found stuff, I didn't even remember ordering it. And there's so many duplicates up there, you know? Yeah. Things I've bought twice and stuff. So my aim is not to buy it anymore unless it's for orders. Because my three Boleros that were ordered, would you believe I didn't have one of the colours that she wanted? <laughs> <laughs> but that's just something that's unavoidable. But I am avoiding ice like the plague. I'm trying not to look at any of Kemp's bargains. But um, Kelly's got to do my buying from now on. She's, she's taking over my reins. She's building up her stash. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelly, it's drops, isn't it? Yeah, drops are nice. Drops are nice. But I'm just thinking, you're saying that you're not going to buy unless it's for an order. Yeah. I'm thinking, I can't even say that. <laughs> because I know as soon as the words left my mouth, I'll be like, oh, but I want to buy right now. But she <laughs> It'll has. hit it. She has got an Etsy store and she's going to put things on it, aren't you? I am. I've taken the pictures. Mm -hmm. My next door neighbour at the minute is borrowing my computer. Mm -hmm. So once that's back, because it's easier to do on your computer than on your phone. Yeah. So yeah. once that's back, it's all going on. She started up my computer. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It was something or nothing. Apparently I should have had a leaflet with the, uh, the tower yeah. telling me what to do. Unfortunately, for some reason or other, it was missing. It wasn't in my... So once we got, I, I mean, they were very nice, the people I bought it off. They explained to me exactly what to do, but I'm a bit of a dunderhead, you know. So I waited well, <laughs> being a total coward, I waited well, Kelly came. <laughs> but it was a bit difficult because it was numbers and letters, weren't it, and stuff. Yeah, it's, um, well, a lot of you will know, it's just your product key, and then you've got sections of five numbers and letters mixed up. So mm -hmm. then you write it down. But it's dead small writing, so I write, wrote it on my notebook on my phone. Yeah. And then I got a couple of letters wrong, like DN. Yeah. It was on the edge of the label, so it looked like an M. Yeah. So, yeah. I had to go back and do it, but it's done. You see, I can't bend down for a start-off, so and I've got no good, no good eyes. 
So I'd have been there with my magnifying glass and then trying to write it down. And <laughs> I'd have been there. <laughs> I'd have been there yet. <laughs> I mean, my niece does know how bad I am. She said, do you want me to come round? <laughs> and do it for you? I said, well, it's okay. I said, Kelly's coming on Friday. I said, I'll wait while Kelly comes. So now the world of Microsoft is now at my fingertips. Windows, is it? Windows. It Windows 10. Windows 10. At my fingertips. I like it. My son couldn't work it out. He said he didn't like it, but... See, I like it because it's just like a phone or a tablet. It yeah. works with apps. Uh, and, like, you have to download the apps from the Microsoft Store. And I like that because... It's what I do on my phone, really. That is something you're going to have to teach me when you come again. Yeah. And I'll find the knitting magazines for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she also put the wheels on my wagon, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I bought the some uh, plastic, what do they call it? Um, the drawers that I like to yeah. watch, you know, the plastic drawers. Yeah, and I couldn't put the wheels on my wagon. Yeah. Are you still all right for time? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got about 10 minutes, yeah. and then I'll call a taxi. Yeah. I was thinking about you the other day, there was a video on uh, Facebook and it was somewhere down south in America and it was called, uh, this tractor came past with a trailer and it had all these little seats on it and it had Uber written on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> I love Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it stopped like, you know, and uh, everybody got on. <laughs> Can you hear Gigi snoring? Oh, stop. There he is. <laughs> His eyes are open and all. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever I am, GG is a perfect lap dog. Honestly. She was sat down before. Just sat like that and GG crawled up on her chest and you just fell asleep there. <laughs> he sits on my shelf. What do you think ever? Is well, that she would be strangled or something. <laughs> His daddy says he doesn't do that with me. I says, because you're too skinny, you don't have boobs. <laughs> <laughs> He's either on my knee. I think this is why animals like me, because I'm plump. Yeah. You know, it's like babies like me too as well, because there's something to snuggle on to, isn't there, you know? Yeah. And uh, when I was younger, I was a lot slimmer when I had my son. And I worked with a girl who would be in her 60s, and she was cladded like me and my son used to she used to pick him up and he used to go oh, as if, oh this is good you know she knows what to do you know and he, used to, and he used to fall asleep on her but she'd had four kids you know so i suppose she wasn't as nervous as me with him yeah but he used to look at me and say she knows what she's doing thank goodness you know <laughs> i'm here where i belong <laughs> leave me <laughs> and he was like that with me mom He'd be, yeah, scream, scream, scream for me, scream, scream. And my dad would be saying, do something with him. I said, I can't do anything with him. And my mum would say, give him me. As soon as he went to my mum, he used to go, <sighs> and I used to go, he hates me. <laughs> she said, don't be silly. Of course he doesn't hate you, he's mummy. And he'd go, he hates me, he doesn't like me, because he cries all the time. <laughs> like that once I was cutting Jamal's um, fingernails the first time yeah. I'd ever cut them and I nicked his skin of X yeah. the first child I didn't know what I was doing I was nervous yeah. as anything he screamed and screamed I had to phone him I was like can you come please he hates me he's not gonna <laughs> let me touch him again she goes give over he needs you he's gonna let you touch him she goes you're so daft but she still came round and started <laughs> you'll have to get to move nearer to her your mum I know. When you get your house sorted out. Hey, when you win the lottery, you see, you can buy your own. Yeah. Big house with them. I don't play the lottery, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> <laughs> I play the lottery, but all I get is a free... I get, I'll keep winning free, do, free goals. My free goals never win. No, that's just a ploy. It's just a ploy. I just want to get you addicted to it. Yeah. Never choose the same numbers and use them over and over again because that way you, you're stuck. Because yeah. I'm scared to death that the one week I don't put it on, all those numbers will come up. <laughs> My mum was like that, she changed them once and then that week she could have won it, it was about £100 or something. Yeah, yeah. 
The most I've ever worn in all the years I've been doing it was £120. And I thought, oh, this is, this is okay. <laughs> but I must have spent about three and a half grand <laughs> to well, win the £120. Pound. I was about 10 or 11 in my answer goals. Pick the numbers. In if any of them win anything, yeah. it's yours, you can have it. They won a tenner. Woo. So she's like, do you want to do it again the next week? Went, no thanks, I'm up. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Quick while I'm ahead. Beginners <laughs> look, I'm not doing it again. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not very lucky. Not even in raffles. I mean, I did win a raffle once and I won some really awful prize. But I was so thrilled because I'd actually won a raffle. Yeah. But it was this piece of junk. <laughs> Somebody had donated. And I'm like, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bin it on the way home. <laughs> well, I never win anything. Like, the first thing I've won in about 20 years is... Um, from Amy's giveaway, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Amy Gibson. Yeah. She so she was giving away a pattern off Ravelry. Actually, it's this top pattern. Don't you think that looks machine knitted? Knitted. It looks so neat. And then you see my drop stitch. Well, Where don't, is that? Don't. I'm there. just bobbing you up now. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that means praising her, by the way, not anything else. <laughs> she bought it I never made a comment about it because I honestly thought she bought it but it was only when she said there's this stitch thing missing and I said have you knitted that and she goes yeah it's honest it is so neat mine's all niggledy piggledy when I do it <laughs> this year I'm most good to work with though it was um baby soft cotton I think it was from ice yeah like 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. Yeah. It's just really nice. She's another ice queen. Yep. Me, Sue, Kelly. Who else? Ephraim. Ephraim. Come and join our ice. Queen. Grace. Grace. <laughs> Come and join our ice. It's a group of us. Yeah. And I think we better say goodbye before we run out of time and you need to get your taxi home. Yeah. I'll pick up one of the kiddos. Yeah. And yeah. go back at half four for the other. <laughs> Can't you forget one of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, they keep saying to me, why'd you go back twice in the day? Pick one up at three, then one up at half four. But I said, well, Usman makes up the hours on the Monday. And yeah. that's my alone time with Jamal. And when yeah. he starts primary school in September, He'll I'm not going to have any alone time with him then, so I want to make yeah. the most out yeah, of Yeah, you might as well, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I never thought of that. Aren't you dead sweet? And I'm like, no. Well, I, only I just had, want my baby to be a baby for a bit longer. <laughs> I only ever had one kid, not by choice, but I only ever had one kid, so I never had the problem of like trying to juggle yeah. time, you know. I mean, I remember my sister-in-law getting a bit sort of panicky when she was having a second, you know, will she find time for, you know, both of them. Yeah. And my mum was saying, yes, yeah, she will, you'll be surprised, you'll find time, you know. She was like, well, I love her as much as the other one, you know. But you do. Yeah, it just happens. You don't even think about it at the time, do you? Yeah. Just pat your day. Yeah. Because I, well, I never had that problem, you see, so I never had the one spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't spoiled at first. It was only when I realised that he was going to be the only one. You know, it took a while for me to realise there wasn't going to be number two. Yeah. Um, that's when I sort of not devoted more time to him, but you know. Well, I think get more time, wanna? I think at first I was always conscious of the fact that he might have to share me one day, you know. Yeah. But uh, oh god, another car pulling up. Cars, cars, and more cars here. I don't know why. Popular neighbour. <laughs> well, they're outside my door. I've got no idea because I don't know. Well, I don't think I know. Unless it's not my taxi. I've not booked it yet. No, you better have. By the way, it's getting to be five two. So we better book it. So we will say goodbye. Yeah. And she's gearing up to make another order. So no doubt if you watch her videos, there'll be another order coming on. Yeah. Yeah. I've already got my eyes order as well. I'm not shown that one yet. Yeah. So you need to make another video. Yeah. I'll probably make one on Monday because I finished that waistcoat and I don't want things to build up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make one on Monday. She didn't Ninja make a Man. video for ages and then very, very annoyingly she said, I've finished loads of things, but they're all packed away. 
I know, I pack them away and forget about them. And we're all going, so, where are they? We want to see them. <laughs> but I don't like my videos being too long, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make more of them shorter. I know. Can't help some people, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to be more like Jan. Whenever I've got something to show, I've just made yeah, just a video, make a video. Up here and there. Yeah, that's um, what I do. It's just like chatting to a mate, isn't it? You know, you yeah. just, I think they want to see this, they're going to want to see this, so make a video, yeah. I I pack them all it, away though. and say, I've made 74,000 things and I packed <laughs> them all away. I want to see them and I've not seen them. I want to see them. We'll have to come round to mine someday then. Yeah, my scooter won't go that far. <laughs> I'll have to get an Uber. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you an Uber. <laughs> Not the Uber, an Uber. Oh, I can't get up now. Oh, <laughs> I put this fluffy um, throw on my ratty tatty you know, sofa and it's. <laughs> look at him, he won't let me go. <laughs> you try getting up with a dog. Oh. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a little button on the top. You press that over. Right. Bye, everybody.